Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're talking about things you should know before doing your sh** on social media. And you know what's gonna be great about this video? I got freaking Chick-fil-A. So this video's already gonna be good. I really can't wait for you guys to hear my top three tips and takeaways. So if you wanna know, just keep on watching. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade and uh, I look kind of crazy. I just put on my eyebrows. Today, we're talking about a couple things you should know about starting social media. Just stuff that no one ever talks about and probably shouldn't be able to talk about this because it's kind of weird, but I hope you enjoy. I'm about to get ready for Chick-fil-A. I actually don't know what's exactly happening today. I'm currently working on a few videos. I had emails and coaching calls and meetings, but I finally have some time to say, what's up guys? I hope you're doing awesome. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I talk about social media on this channel and my mission here is to help you guys. That's the only reason why I created this channel and I really do care about you guys. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers and I, you've heard it before but it's crazy to me. So thank you so so much. I'm just gonna go dive right into this video as we get ready. I actually don't know what this video is particularly because there's a lot of shit in the background. But I am going to talk about just a couple of things I wrote down from a few books I barely read. Um, I actually don't like reading at all and I don't know why. Probably because my attention spans like a squirrel. I find some good reads occasionally and I wanted to share with them too because you gotta know it, okay? It's, it's, it's important. By the way, I'm doing my makeup and I'll put all the products below. I'm just putting like foundation. So the first thing is Guys, come on, now it's 2018. There's Google, there's something called a search engine. For everyone asking stupid questions, and I know I look stupid, but you know, asking questions that are kind of Google-able, you have to understand, it is your responsibility to educate yourself. And what I'm talking about is the stupid comments that sometimes I get that are like, Hi, I just saw some videos on this engagement group. How can I find groups like that? Hi, I watch your YouTube video and I'm trying to build my social media. Blah, 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 blah. Can you give me a shout out? Hey, my name is Josie. I lost my old Instagram account because I forgot my password and signed up with my wrong email. Oh, by the way, could you give me a shout out? And I'm like, guys, you have to just understand. I'm trying to be really, really tough love on you. And if you're new to this channel, you're probably like, what the fuck is happening? But say you have a problem with your Instagram account and you don't know what to do. Maybe you can't get followers to like your photos or maybe you don't know what to post. There's a search engine for that. And I want to let you know that, guys, you're going to, everyone goes to school. But there's a difference between school and education. It is your job to educate yourself. So I just want to give you a little bit of love and a tip. Like, before you go ahead and complain about your life and how your engagement sucks and you're lost and you need help and you're about to give up just google your shit first and I tr i'm telling you this might sound really harsh the mentality i'm trying to teach you guys is a go-getter mentality it's not like you're going to get everything you want a lot of you guys want a shortcut maybe your instagram followers and you want to collab with someone super big because they think you're going to get followers from them it doesn't work like that you have to build your own empire first not tear someone's down not leech off someone's success also you need to build your audience so i would say to build your audience the first thing i would do is kind of train your mind to go get it and uh i don't know if i'm just yelling at you because lately my dms are full of weird ass questions but <laughs> i just want to let you know on this channel we're super real and 100 percent honest and i feel like you guys my biggest tip i've ever learned is don't let others feed you what you want. Go get it. If you're hungry, do it. And stop complaining. And I know this video is off to a really kind of emotional start, but you have so much control over your life. And a lot of people are complaining and sitting at home. Just go on Google and fix your shit first. And then whatever happens, if you have a question, let me know as well. I think I want to get Chick-fil-A. Do you guys like Chick-fil-A? I haven't had it in a fat minute. Um, should I do like a mukbang? <gasps> I should do a mukbang. I have never done one on my channel. I tried to film it with a friend before, but it didn't work. I don't know. Like, I feel like mukbangs don't give you guys value, but today we're going to experiment. Wait, what if I could like pull off a mukbang about marketing? <gasps> a marketing mukbang? What if you guys already lost? You're only focusing on the outcome, the wishes. Okay, this might be weird, but I actually use lipstick and blush like cloud paint. I don't know. Like, look at, look at that. Like, oh my God. Okay, guys, I need to tell you a story. And if you're squeamish or you don't, give a shit about me, you might not like this, but this is actually really scary, and it's kind of graphic, so, um, I hope you're not eating anything. Normally, I would say, like, grab a snack, but you might, like, actually throw it up. Or literally yesterday, I've been having, I'll show you. Okay, this is really gross. I don't know if we're on this level yet. Like, you see, there's, like, if you see that, there's, like, a bump, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was 
I thought it was a tumor, like no joke. Like this happened, I think, two months ago. It's actually been growing for two months, and it's just like this bump on my leg. And my dad's been telling me it's a pimple, but I've never believed him. And my parents were like, Jade, it's fine. You don't need to go to a doctor. But I'm like, come on, guys. I want to go to a doctor because it's been growing for three months or two months. And then like, it's now been turning black. And I have footage to prove. So my dad literally is like, Jade, lay down right now. We're gonna pop it. Okay guys, so this is the problem. My dad wants to operate on me unprofessionally. Literally a sewing needle. No, no, no. A sewing needle. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I can just, can I just go to the doctor. He's like, dude, I've seen this before. Let me pop it. I know what to do because he's been watching really weird acne videos on you. And he, I was like, what if it starts bleeding? You know, what if I don't make it? And he's like, it's okay. We'll go to the doctor then. I was like, why can we just go to the doctor now? But my parents are cheap as fuck. So I gave my dad the consent to pop my leg. And literally, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna insert what it looked like. Ow. <sighs> I'm gonna lose subscribers from this. But long story short, it took a while, now I'm healed, and it was actually a pimple. So the moral of the story uh, is listen to your parents, they're probably mostly right, and I just saved myself 500 bucks from not going to the doctor. So it's great that my parents are cheap asses. Honestly, my mom was like literally, get the camera, let's video this for YouTube, get the clickbait. If you are so far finding any value at all, any value at all from this trip, it really supports me and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I'm so excited for Chipotle. Wait, I'm not going to Chipotle. I'm going to Chick fil A. Hi. Hi there. My name's Sammy. What's your name? I'm Jade. Uh, can I get a frosted sunrise small? Alrighty. And I'll have just a chicken nugget. There were literally like people taking my order. I don't know why. After I get my meal, we're gonna talk about one more thing. I really wish I learned starting Instagram and YouTube. Alright, there we got nugget sauce with sweet and napkins in the back of Have a great day. So we got the Frosted Sunrays, which is a new menu. It's like a milkshake but with orange juice. Mm. 10 out of 10 is basically great. I never had the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets before, but well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I feel like Trisha Paytas. Whoa, guys, that was literally so good. I really wish I learned how to think process, not product. I always thought that if you want to be really successful, you got to have a really good product slash really good experience slash genius. Guys, it's actually, you're, the weird thing is people are laughing at me right now this very moment as I'm vlogging. What the fuck? Um, but I really wish I really understood when I was kind of starting YouTube that I didn't actually have to be a genius. And I really learned really quickly that you actually need to only be one chapter ahead of your audience. You don't need to be the best. A lot of you guys are also stalling. This goes back to maybe procrastination and the fear of starting something by being made fun of or looking stupid but to be honest guys like I realize your process is a product like going through the journey is what you should create and Gary Vaynerchuk an entrepreneur talks about you know documentation versus creation and I really really now vibe with it because I'm not perfect at all I do know I only teach what I know but at the same time you don't have to be really really experienced at all oh fucking shit Okay, okay, and I really wish I kind of vlogged through school. So everyone anyone in high school that literally vlogs at school, I've seen that being a trend. Props to you because half of this world literally is, is too scared of what their parents or friends are gonna think. So props to you for having the guts to really push through and I really am thankful for everyone even in the midst of starting. But I hope this kind of encourages you to get out of their chair and whether you don't want to post a video, I post videos every day. So it's a struggle for all of us. I'm gonna go home, have a coaching call, and I'm gonna update you at the very end of the day. So if you wanna stick around, it'll be awesome. So typically it's like exponential. And over time, it So Coachella was last weekend, and I think we can't finish this video off without a sick montage. This post to be featured in the next episode. Feel free to check out the end cards at the end of this video. So stay tuned if you haven't watched my videos and you want to binge on some more. There might be one for you. Catch you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe. See ya. <laughs>